So hi everyone, and uh, welcome to this video on the ramsey cass Couplins model. In particular, we're gonna go through a relatively long example. And uh, in this particular video, we're gonna set up the dynamic programming problem of this particular problem. So uh, consider an economy where we have a representative agent that has a lifetime utility. And the lifetime utility is a function of consumption, that's CT. And then we have one minus HT, which is leisure, right? Now, uh, each uh, consumer has an income constraint or a budget constraint that their consumption and their investment must be equal to their labor income, labor income. Uh, then this is a after tax. So their capital income, their capital rental income is taxed. So after tax capital income, income, and this is a lump sum tax, okay? And capital evolves using a standard capital accumulation equation, okay? So uh, in here, okay, so that's the consumer's problem. For the firm, we have that uh, there exists this per uh, capita aggregate capital stock, which is basically like a share of like some huge uh, capital stock and you have the individual capita and labor hour holdings, okay? And uh, we have that there exists a government budget constraint that is basically the labor earning income that uh, the government sort of receives from all of that, okay? So uh, we need to set up, okay? So we start, so to set up, up, the dynamic programming problem, okay? Problem, we need to identify our individual states, okay? States and our aggregate state, as well as the things that we need to solve for, which are our decision variables or control variables. Okay, as standard, our individual state is per capita capital because once we know the dynamics of per capita capital, we know a lot. And because there's consistency in aggregation, uh, the aggregate state is capital, total capital or capital aggregate stock. And uh, we have the things we wanna solve for is KP plus one, HT, and uh, CT, right? But as you, we can see, we can sort of plug in for CT and just solve for KT plus one and HT, okay? So notice, okay, for the consumer, okay? So we were given with this equation for CT here. So CT, so we have that CT plus IT uh, is equal to uh, uh, WT. HT plus one minus tau K RTKT plus tau T, right? Then uh, we know that this IT here just takes the form uh, one minus delta KT minus KT plus one, right? Oh, sorry, my bad. It should be, uh, so we have here, if we, so sorry, we have this here, transpose it to the other side, we have positive KT plus one minus one minus delta KT is equal to WTHT plus one minus tau K, right? RTKT plus TT. Then uh, we just isolate CT, so you get CT is equal to WTHT um, plus one minus tau K RT KT minus KT plus one plus one minus delta KT plus tau T, I'm sorry, TT rather. And uh, as you can see, because we have a form for CT, we reduce the number of decision variables from three to one. So we only need two first order conditions now, okay? Uh, so, for the consumer, the goal is to maximize the U, 
uh, which is uh, you're deciding to maximize with respect to H T and K plus one uh, equal to expected value summation T is equal to zero to infinity beta T U then plug it all in W T H T plus one minus tau K R T K T minus K T plus one plus one minus delta K T plus T T one minus H T, right? So in here, this thing here is C T. This is, uh, sorry, not just that thing. This entire thing here is C T. This is one minus H T, right? That's the first and the second arguments. So that's for the consumer, for the firm, okay, for the firm, we have standard maximization. So maximize HT, KT, right? That's their goal. They want to choose HT and KT for the firm. The, what inputs of production do they need to maximize profit? So that's pi T is equal to the production function, KT, KT, HT, minus WT, uh, HT, minus RTKT, right? Now, labor labor cost and rental cost is a cost for the firm, but it's an income to the consumer, uh, where this uh, FKTHT is equal to AT, K bar, T, eta, uh, KT, theta, uh, HT, one minus theta, okay? So finally, we set up the Bellman. Bellman equation. So the Bellman is a simple sort of thing. So we, uh, uh, we, we start with a value function, which is a function of the individual state and the aggregate state, that's KK. And uh, the goal is to maximize okay, KT, KT maximize uh, HT, K, uh, KT plus one, okay, of U, WT, uh, WT, HT, plus one minus tau K, RT, KT, plus tau T, uh, plus TT, minus KT plus one, plus one minus delta KT, one minus HT, right? Plus beta expected value, the continuation value of the function, which is KT plus one, KT plus one. And uh, that's our Bellman equation. And uh, basically with this Bellman, we have successfully set up, okay, not solved of course, but set up our dynamic programming problem. Uh, in the next video, we're going to define a recursive competitive equilibrium for this economy. And in the next few videos, we're going to do uh, the competitive equilibrium allocations as well as the social plan allocations. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.